Okay, we had the valley shingles out. Um, and the first thing that jumps out to me is the width of the copper where it crosses the valley. It should come at least 14 inches. I mean, 12 at the minimum. Um, you should also never nail within six inches or a hand of a valley. And what you see is you've got a zip screw here. Um, you've got a, a regular roofing nail there, which is not good with copper. If it ever gets moist, it'll produce an electric current and it'll, you know, erode this. Um, also down here at the bottom of this valley, they should have ran this shingle underneath this as well. Uh, because if we ever get a really downpour like Hurricane Sandy, uh, what will happen is water can run past this and if it gets to this corner, it'll run in. Um, people, a lot of times, they'll try to rely on ice and water shield, which is something you really don't want to rely on when it comes to roofing. When you put your roof on, you should only be relying on the roofing material and not some kind of underlayment. Um, they also did not solder this seam. Um, I don't know what they did with this corner. It looks like they probably turned that corner right. I'm not sure what they did here. But we're going to take this cricket out and we're going to refabricate a new one um, and we're going to bring it past to where it should go. We're going to run the shingles underneath where they should be as well. Um, not only that, we're also going to solder this joint. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, we'll take a look at these step flashes. There's probably a good chance I'll have to uh, replace these step flashes because if you can see these shingles buckling up, you really don't want that to happen because the tips of the of the copper underneath they'll poke through these shingles eventually um, so we'll probably wind up taking all of them out um, I'm gonna point another thing out to you yeah what I really don't like when it comes to uh, some types of roofing is is when guys bury their pans um, if they had a pan here and they cleated it down there's no there would be no way for water to get in um, but since they nailed these shingles down over it, if water ever got past that shingle and under here, it has a penetration point to get in to the roof. Um, but we'll, we'll take that pan out and we'll replace it as well.